Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are and what part of the world you are in, I hope that you are having a good day. <laughs> All right, so today we are going to do a, a facelift. Um, at least I call it a facelift. <clears throat> Basically, we are going to use some bentonite clay, and it is great for the skin. It's also good for your hair, but it does help to tighten up your skin, and you can even feel it when you put it on. So I've already put a little bit in my... I probably actually put too much, so I'm going to pour some out, actually. Put some back. But you feel your face tighten up when you put this on. Okay, that's probably maybe a quarter of a cup, I'd say. And then, the secret ingredient is, ta-da, some apple cider vinegar with mother. And what does it mean to have mother in it? It just basically has pieces of the, I guess, apple pulp, if that's what you want to call it. Um, I think that's what, what it's called. Anyhow, I'm going to add, you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. I don't want it too watery, but I don't want it too thick either. So I'm just going to start with a little bit at a time. So that wasn't enough. I'm sorry, I didn't even let you see what I was doing. I'm just basically taking my fork and I'm stirring it. Stir, stir, stir. I just pre-poured some of the apple cider vinegar. Now this has turned out to be foamy so far. So I need to put a little bit more bentonite clay. It's also called Indian healing hemp clay with bentonite clay. Okay, I think I have it the consistency that I want. More like a paste. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just going to apply it. My face is already clean. I would normally do this in the restroom, but I started mixing it in the kitchen. And so I'm just going to do this on camera. It'd be better if I had a um, a mirror, but since I'm already here, and I always bleach down my kitchen anyway, so I'm fine with it right now. I'm not going to yell at myself for putting on a face mask in my clean kitchen that I'm going to clean <laughs> once I'm done. I really like to get it underneath my eyes. Try not to get it too close to your eyes, though, because if it goes in your eyes, uh, I am getting a little close to mine, but it can sting a little bit if it goes into your eyes, especially with that apple cider vinegar in there. But this is great for people who have blemishes. Um, 
Like I said, I call it like a little facelift in the bottle or in the jar. <laughs> so, um, we are going to let that sit. Uh, I think I got a clean finger. <laughs> so I'm going to come back in a few minutes to show you uh, what this looks like before I get ready to rinse it off. It will start to crack, not necessarily, you can't really peel it off, you do have to rinse or wash it off, um, but it will start to crack. But I'll, Let me see if I could, let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I had a lot going on. Um, <laughs> but I'm back. Um, I dropped something else, I don't want to. Oh man, oh. my back has been, never mind, I don't even want to talk about it. Anyway, so this is Bentonite Clay or Indian Healing Clay, and it says, feel your face pulsate. Facials, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, chilled clay for knee packs and insect bites. Enjoy the benefits of clay in your own home. Beauty and refreshing. Um, I have had a clay body scrub. Oh my goodness, that was delightful. Um, that was in Greensboro, North Carolina many years ago. Um, but it was great to just have somebody rub your body down with all the clay. It felt really good. So this clay feels really good on my face. Um, and I can feel it like tightening up or as they say pulsing right mix clay with equal parts of raw apple cider vinegar and or water use a non-metal bowl and utensil stir the mixture well to a smooth paste add more clay or liquid as needed apply one eighth inch to one quarter inch to the face or other area let it dry for five to ten minutes for delicate skin and fifteen to twenty minutes for normal skin. You will feel a pulling and tightening sensation. Feel your face pulsate. Remove clay by washing with warm water. Slight redness on the skin is normal and will disappear in about thirty minutes. Remove impurities and dirt from the pores. Deep for cleansing. World's most powerful facial. One pound of clay makes 10 to 15 facials. Use it once per week for the family. More often for problem skin. Men love it too. And it says for external use only. Although I know people who, who consume it, I don't know if there's like a food grade bentonite clay or if they just go ahead and um, take this I would need to look into that uh, it says it was made in the USA in Pahrump, Nevada so again this is what it looks like Aztec Secret Health and Beauty Aztec Secret world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing 100% natural calcium bentonite clay clay um i want to say i maybe got this from vitamin shop but of course you can order it online online at amazon i'm not sure if gnc has it um i've gotten it from health food stores i've gotten it from whole foods can't remember where else I've purchased it but I purchased it from quite a few places um, so it should be pretty easy to find and of course the price will vary um, depending on where you purchase it from but I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you a close-up So 
I'm not sure how long the first video was because <clears throat> I accidentally um, turned off the camera because I almost dropped the phone. I kind of felt like it wasn't in there secure, but I didn't go with my first instinct and it definitely fell. Um, but I want to leave this on um, for at least 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to say it's probably been about 10. Um, it's 4.50 on my phone right now. Um, so with the, including the other video, it was probably another 4 to 5 minutes. So I'm going to let it sit for about another 10 minutes. It is starting to get tight. Once it starts to get tight, you have to like, pry, you know, you don't have to pry your mouth open, but you, you, it's, your face doesn't move. Like, it's kind of stiff. <laughs> so I'm going to stop talking so it can go ahead and do its job. And I'll be back to show you um, what my face looks like once I rinse it off. Hey y'all, it's been about 15-20 minutes. And you can see some parts are still wet in this area. And these are the parts that have dried already. So I'm just going to let it finish um, drying. I'm trying not to um, move my face too much so it won't start cracking because I'll show you what it looks like when it starts cracking after it's completely dry. So I'll be back in a moment, por favor. Hey y'all. It's probably been about 30 minutes. It's not quite ready, but I moved my face a bit so it's a little, it's already started to crack. But. I still have some wet spots. So I'll say about maybe five more minutes and then I should be ready to wrench around and wrench it off. Um, as you can see I'm kind of being stiff with my mouth because I don't want it to crack too much even though it's already started cracking. So. I'll be back in a moment. Uno momento, por favor. <laughs> okay, I'm back with another one. So, I'm going to open my mouth, show you how it looks like when it starts to really crack. That's really not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you're just supposed to rinse it off. But I just wanted to show you that it did pretty much harden on my face. So now it's time to rinse it off. I'm just kind of letting the water get a little warm here. Sarah, Sarah, oh, I have So, I'm going to be quick with it. <laughs> Water's pretty much warm. And so I just take the water, cut my hands, take the water and splash it on my face over the sink.
Sometimes it takes a while to get it all off. Um, sometimes I do it in the shower. And just to kind of let the water run down on my face. You want to make sure you get it out of your hair. That might be conditioner though. I do have conditioner in my hair. Just pampering myself this evening. Um, you can use a washcloth. You could use a sponge. Like if you ever had a facial done at a spa, you know they take the sponges in there. <laughs> They sponge it off. They wet the sponges and they sponge it off. But um, that's my nose ring. But yeah, anyway, um, you can get sponges specifically for your face to sponge off the mask if you so choose to. But my hands are just fine for me. I don't have to be fancy. I just need to make sure that I got it all off. <laughs> and I think I did. I'm just going to towel, blot, dry my face a little bit. I'm not going to rub it. So, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Um, I can. I feel like my face looks cleaner. And so, I do make a lotion, so I'm going to put just a little drop, maybe two, <laughs> and I'm going to rub that in my hands and use it to moisturize my face. You're supposed to do up so you don't pull down your, your, your face. You're supposed to do it in an upward motion when you moisturize. I hope this is helpful, me doing all of this. <laughs> on the YouTube for y'all. What? I feel like my gap gets big. I like my gap. I mean, it's not a problem, but I just feel like it gets bigger and <laughs> wider and wider. It it has get, gotten wider since um, I was younger. I um, had braces like twice when I was maybe 19 20 and then again I think in my 30s if I'm not mistaken um, and um, uh, I didn't wear my retainer the first time that's how come I end up getting them the second time um, but because I didn't wear my retainer my teeth did spread back out so like I said I don't mind but my gap is is much bigger than it was before I even had braces. <laughs> Again, it's fine. I love me. But, uh, yeah, so that's what my face looks like now. Um, it is a little reddish. I don't, again, I don't know if you can tell. 
that's my nose ring um it is a little red but I did put my moisturizer on um, so that I could moisturize it and um, the redness will go away but again I just feel like my face is a lot cleaner it's like it cleans out your pores um, gets those blackheads out and um, I like it. I, I call it a little facelift because I feel like it does like ref freshen up your face. Um, again, I don't know if you can tell. Um, I didn't really do a thorough before and after, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post this tonight. It is kind of late, and I do have a couple other videos to create. And I probably need to edit this one unless I do a part one and a part two. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, I don't know. The last time, it is Mercury Retrograde. And the last time I tried to post some videos, when I tried to upload them on my computer, it's like every video that I needed was there except for the videos that I wanted to post. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if my computer and my phone will cooperate and talk to each other, you know, respectfully, to, you know, so we'll see. But like I said, it is kind of late um, and I still need to um, meditate before I go to bed and all those good things. So we shall see. Um, but I hope that this was helpful. Um Again, this is something that you can do at home to tighten and brighten up your face to help with your acne and things of that nature. So again, I hope that this was helpful. Me um, wearing a face mask, a facial mask on my YouTube channel um, to help you guys out um, with your self-care at home. So. Again, I hope that was helpful. Love y'all. Later. Mwah.